Good evening, it's Rodney Allen Rippey, and you're listening to 90.3 FM Radio Suerte, and this is the Evening Report. From the World News, a fiery speech to Congress, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, he vowed total victory in the Gaza, and he denounced all U.S. protesters. And this is starting to bolster his attempt to have more U.S. support for his fight against Hamas and other Iran-backed militia. Six people were arrested that were protesting and they are with a group called The Answer and The Answer stands for Act Now to Stop War and Racism and so they are on the side of Palestine and so they were there voicing their opinions. Some got a little bit out of hand and the Capitol Police had to pepper spray and arrest some people. On to national news a hydrothermal explosion at Biscuit Basin in Yellowstone National Park actually damaged the boardwalk and several guests had to run for safety. The U.S. Geological Survey said this powerful buildup had originated by Black Diamond Pool. Luckily, no one was injured. Moving on in more national news, more information is coming out about the once deranged young man who shot Donald Trump. And they said that he had actually flown a drone over the rally area, surveying it, and his car did have explosives in it. The FBI Director Christopher Wray, he confirmed he said this is not something that this man cooked up. This was something that he was planning for. So the FBI is still digging into this. Joe Biden, who stepped down from the presidency race, he is actually going to be speaking from the Oval Office tonight. So you don't want to miss that. Make sure you tune in. Check your local list. Also, on to local news. Two men were arrested in Seal Beach and they stopped by a Ralph store and they helped themselves to 10 bottles of Tito's vodka. And with a low loaded backpack, they tried to quietly walk out of the store. Well, that did not work. Law enforcement was called. These two were actually on bicycles headed back to Long Beach and they were stopped and arrested. So that didn't work out so well for them. Current weather, it is 90 degrees. It is warm outside. Tomorrow, it's going to be right around the same temperature. 91 on Thursday, Friday 89, Saturday 86, Sunday 84, just a little bit cooler. And what's hot for all you are lovers out there, you can go check out the UCI Jack and Sanaz Langson Institute Museum of California Art. There's a beautiful exhibit there going on and it is called Picturing Summer, curated by Susan Davidson and there is interpretive tech written by Dada Wei. So this is going to be a nice, nice, awesome time. I hope that you get out there and check that out. On the entertainment side, a U.S. reality show contestant on the show Race to survive New Zealand. His name was Spencer Corey Jones. He's an American whitewater river guide. He actually killed and ate a large flightless bird called a weka. Well, there's one problem. The weka is on the red list of endangered species and threatened there in New Zealand. This guy was in big trouble. Luckily, he didn't know that the bird was endangered. They had mercy upon him and they let him go with just a warning. Just to let you know, the weekas are very, very endangered there in New Zealand. And if you get caught killing one, it can get you put in prison for two years and get you fined upwards to $60,000. You don't want that. Also, on to the entertainment side, Eric Clapton, he paid tribute to his friend, John Mayall. And John Mayall from the Blues Breakers, as you know, he was a legend. He passed away. And so Eric Clapton, at age 18, used to be taught. And he was like a mentor to the great Eric Clapton. And believe it or not, Eric Clapton had said at one point he was thinking about giving up music, but actually John Mayall talked him out of it. And as you know, the rest is music history. I have an exclusive interview with a dear, dear friend. His name is Rockwell Sheraton. He also knew Mr. John Mayall, and this is what he had to say. Hello, it's Rodney Allen Rippey, and you're listening to 90.3 FM Radio Suerte. And we have a entertainment report. I am here with a dear friend and colleague, Mr. Rockwell Sheridan. Rockwell is a man of many great talents here in the entertainment industry and the music world. Man, Rockwell, thank you for giving us a little time. I wanted to reach out to you about your colleague and, and you know, we send out our 
heartfelt, you know, to his family and to all the music execs out there and people who've worked with Mr. John Mayall. And he was with the Blues Breakers. And we know we've lost him, but his music lives on. What can you say about Mr. Mayall? First of all, thank you, Rodney, for having me on. Uh, it's a, a great pleasure to speak to you and your audience. Um, John uh, was a great guy. I've known him for since the 60s, actually. And um, he was a blues player. He was like the father of the blues. And I tell you, in 1971, I went to London with a band called Bloodstone. And they... Um, uh, we signed a record deal with Decca Records, yeah. and they assigned us a producer, Mike Vernon. And Mike Vernon had produced uh, John Mayall and the Blues Breakers, which had uh, Eric Clapton, uh, John McVie from Fleetwood Mac, and different people like that. And uh, John also, I mean, uh, Mike also discovered David Bowie and and produced the records by David when it was David Jones. But John was like the father blues he had you know peter green and all these guys that or the, the, you know guys from london that love american blues and uh, and then when john moved here to los angeles he lived in laurel canyon oh. and we spent many of summers at his house with alice cooper and mickey dolans from the monkeys and harry nielsen and just a ton of us would go over and swim all day and had a bunch of girls around. Of course, that's what kind of kept us over there. But at any rate, uh, he was a wonderful, wonderful person. Uh, contributed a lot to the music industry, and he leaves behind uh, a, a fantastic legacy of positive um, influence and great music on all of us. And we will miss him dearly. Rockwell, you've been in the music industry and and. You know, you have such great relationships with major, major players in the music industry. What can you say? Just, I want you to wrap up. What are we going to do about this young generation? Who's going to carry on the blues? You know, I need things. Everything is here. It's been here before, and it goes around in a circle. And it will get back to musicians that go to school and musicians that grow up in various areas and things like that. And then they'll start back again playing because the blues was a product of, of hurt. And, yeah. and a lot of people always say they always felt better by playing the blues. Uh, we still have some great blues players out there. There's a gentleman uh, I can't think of his name right now, and I wish I could, but man, he's playing some great blues. And then there's Eric Gales from the Gales Brothers okay. and uh, Fabricio and all these guys that I know that are still doing it. And, um, you know, just the music industry itself is kind of going through a rebirth. Right. So we right. have to wait to catch it the next turn around, and hopefully we can get the companies like Spotify and iTunes and all these people to start treating the artists better and paying them better and then we can get back to getting some real music happening and also getting music back into schools they took most of the music programs out of schools and that's where we're getting a lot of the young talent from schools and churches and so forth and so on hey that, that's a beautiful word and hey we'll we'll definitely reach out we're in contact with the head of the LA Unified Arts District there's over 650,000 kids in the LA Unified School District, second largest school district in the country. And yes, we want to get those kids back and bring those arts and the music and all of the Absolutely. great things back. Mr. Rockwell Sheridan, thank you for your time. Thank you for your words and continued success to your illustrious career in entertainment, film, and music. Thank you so much. Hey, thank you, Rodney. It was a pleasure speaking with you. And that's going to wrap it up for my news report. I'm Rodney Allen Rippey, and you just heard another 90.3 FM Radio Suerte report.